welcome back to my channel this is dr tosin and um, this episode is all about colorectal cancer particularly with the unfortunate passing of our black panther star chadwick boseman um, at a very young age uh, 43 and was diagnosed at the age of 39 which is kind of rare for bowel cancer but there's a concerning increase in trend so Chadwick Boseman has played lots of iconic roles. We know him very much for Black Panther, the Marvel series, but he uh, was quite iconic in playing historical figures from Jackie Robinson in the movie 42 and has played a role for acting James Brown as well. And um, this person was quite unfortunate and he will be quite irreplaceable, I should say. So bowel cancer, which is the umbrella term that we use for colon cancer, colorectal cancer, anal cancer, um, it's actually the fourth commonest cause of cancer here in the United Kingdom and even interestingly bound in Africa, statistics taken um, using South Africa as the index model. Um, it's the second cause, most commonest cause of cancer-related mortality, which is cancer-related death here in the UK. And um, worldwide, it's the third commonest cancer with over a million cases diagnosed each year. Um, it's interesting well it's more scary that it's actually on the increase in people under the age of 50 i mean it, we used to just take it for granted that cancer occurs in people over the age of 50 but we are getting an increase in population of people being diagnosed with cancer under the age of 50 even under the age of 45 and even under the age of 40 which unfortunately was the case with chadwick boseman and um, he was diagnosed with already stage three cancer at 39. Um, that in itself is it's very a bit startling because um, that, that's already very advanced, to be honest with you, putting it that way. So talking about bowel cancer, it's unfortunate as well that the mortality is higher among African-Americans, black people, Africans generally even after we have adjusted for um, comorbidities. Um, why that's the case, maybe genetic predisposition, it could be cultural more than likely. Um, but the fact is that we have to get information out there for people to improve on testing and improve on um, seeing their medical practitioner or physician just to inquire about what to do about it. So let's talk about risk factors associated with bowel cancer. And before we go on, if you like the video and you're new to the video, please hit the subscribe button. It should be on the left hand side, the right hand side, whichever one, um, to subscribe to the channel. I've got lots of health coaching content, um, my podcast content as well, and my family and life content if you're interested in that. Risk factors for bowel cancer. Um, starting with age, usually, People at the age of 50 or above are at a greater risk but like i said initially we are finding an increasing trend where people below 50 45 and even 40 are being diagnosed increasingly with bowel cancer which is becoming a bit worrying um, national institute of um, clinical excellence nice in the united kingdom has brought out um, some more guidance as to how we as doctors gps can improve and approach our diagnosis at this stage. So risk factor of age greater than 50, a strong family history of bowel cancer is um, also quite important. So if you have a family member who has been diagnosed with bowel cancer, which can be colon, rectal, um, or anywhere in the large intestine or even the small intestine, sure you should probably seek and speak to a healthcare professional about it if you have any concerns. Um, people with type two diabetes, people with chronic inflammatory bowel disease um, that is for people with things like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis are at an in increased risk of developing bowel cancer. Other things include the generic term living an unhealthy lifestyle. That will be an umbrella term for people that take um, chronic alcohol use. If you, are using, if you drink a lot of alcohol, it really does increase your risk of developing bowel cancer amongst other cancers because um, alcohol smoking they are known as type 1 carcinogens and um, tend to be related or related to a lot of cancers obesity uh, people who are obese or overweight are also at an increased risk of developing bowel cancer 
Um, there are some certain genetic conditions that have been linked to bowel cancer. What I will do is I'll just put a link to some of them in the show notes down below where you can click if you're interested in reading more. But the general message is that these are the at-risk groups or increased risk factors. And if you're concerned, it's something for you to probably look at. So what are the symptoms you could see or experience if uh, with bowel cancer? And these symptoms are not specific exactly to bowel cancer could occur in many other diseases but if you do see them it's worth you having a chat with your medical practitioner um, if you find yourself having blood in your poo or bleeding from down below at your rectum it's uh, that's one of the signs that you need to speak to your physician if you have an altered bowel habit now what that means is if you were someone going consistently opening your bowels daily and that changed and it changed to once in two days or once in three days and became concerning it's also an, it's an indication that you might probably need to speak to your physician or if you developed constipation all of a sudden or you developed irritable or diarrhea for instance that's be concerning but if you were over the age of 40 and you develop things like ab consistent abdominal cramps um, changing diarrhea loose to or developing what they call the irritable bowel at a later age above 40 it might be worth speaking to your physician or if you've developed symptoms related to lethargy, just feeling generally tired all the time, especially if you're in the age group mentioned, um, 40 and above, it's worth speaking to your physician just to test you out and see what your blood levels are. Um, what's your, your blood levels, your iron and your iron levels as well. It's also worth having a chat with your physician. There may be other symptoms that may be non-specific, developing a lump down around the rectal area, um, something to have a chat about as well um, main things there these symptoms are not exactly specific to bowel cancer but these are things that you people could present with another particularly important one is unintentional weight loss if you're losing weight despite not trying actively to and um, it's something you've noticed or your friend partner or family member has noticed you drop in a dress size without that intention of doing so Please speak to your physician as well where they may be able to do things for you um, like conduct tests or run a screening for you to um, see if you may be having symptoms or signs of bowel cancer now bowel cancer screening generally in the united kingdom is done from people over the age of 60 especially if you are in the in, in england and ireland um, but in other places like um, scotland they start quite earlier from the age of 50 now there is a general push to see if the age the cut of age for screening can be reduced down to 50 and even in america they're looking at bringing down to 45. now if you're concerned and um, you still you think you can you'd want to be screened you actually can get a screening test kit um or for yourself to do that at home it's a tip kit that you do in your own house to test for stuff it's known as the fecal immunochemical test or immune chemistry screen i do have a link down in the notes below where you can click on the link it to take you to a place where you can buy this case to be posted to you and you can test yourself what i always explain is that you've got to read it properly because even if the test is positive it does not mean you necessarily have bowel cancer it just means that you can take a test to your gp who can now see you and ask some more screening questions and if necessary refer you on to hospital for further testing some people have asked what tests are done in hospital primarily if you're sent to hospital one of the tests that's done for you will be um, a colonoscopy or a sigmoidoscopy which is a camera test of the back passage to look through the structure of your large intestine to look for anything that may resemble a cancer or polyp which can be sent for further testing now bowel cancer if caught early is treatable um, treatment modalities range from surgery to radiotherapy to chemotherapy um, discussion of that is beyond the remit of this video and i leave that for the specialists but if caught early it is treatable um, the death rate has been reducing steadily because of the screening programs that have been introduced in um, countries like the united kingdom um, america and developed countries but unfortunately um, places like africa where there's no 
true screening program peak the disease stages are caught quite late anything from stage three and four above which unfortunately leads to a significant amount of mortality uh, it's one of the reasons why there is also a pushback from especially in countries like nigeria where they're thinking of introducing some form of screening program for people and if you're watching this video and you're concerned my links are down below feel free to contact me if you want to know about screening or how you can get screened and where to be referred to for screening like i said there's a link in the video where you can purchase a kit yourself to screen yourself and see if you may be at risk of having bowel cancer um, don't forget to subscribe like i said leave a comment below what you think and what you think uh, about bowel cancer and how it can be improved in your resident country what your experience has been if you're someone that has survived bowel cancer and wants to talk about it please leave a comment below down below and um, i should be bringing you more videos and more content thank you very much catch you next time